नमस्ते दिस वीडियो इज ब्रॉट टू यू बाय मर्ज क्लासरूम एकेडमी प्रोडक्शन इन सेल वन पार्ट वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट व्हाट इज सेल सेल डिस्कवरी टाइप ऑफ सेल्स स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ यूनिसेलुलर सेल्स स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ मल्टी सेलुलर एंड इंटर सेलुलर ऑर्गेनिज्म एंड इट्स फंक्शन वी विल डिस्कस दीज टॉपिक्स इन सेवरल डिफरेंट सेक्शंस एंड टुडे इन दिस सेक्शन वी विल डिस्कस व्हाट इज सेल everyone know what is cell at least everyone heard this word what cells is in hindi we called it koshika and cells is a latin word it means like a small room and cells is the basic structural and functional unit of a biological system so if we will go below the cells cells has many organs but it will not work as a life but cells itself can work as a life what we called is life all these activities cells can do alone and its structural function means it makes the body so it's a smallest part of any ones any and and animals or humans or any living organisms body and it's a functional unit functional unit means it work and it act as a living system cell do all those activities which required for living system like respiration like digestion etc and it act as a life as i say cells are composed of several components those carried out many activities which is collectively known as life many activities means like respiration we need respiration without respiration we cannot breathe and we cannot survive we our body need digestion and if we can't digest our food we cannot get energy and if we cannot get energy we cannot work and we cannot survive cells need reproduction without reproduction the progeny will not carry it to the next uh, progeny or they cannot reproduce the same organism so the life will end so there are many activities those required for life all can be done by the cells and these collectively this is what collectively known as life and all life activities can be done in the cells okay if we will go in in a history of the cells then cell was first discovered by robert hook he invented his own microscopy and the second picture is his microscopy which is very very old i guess because he born in 1635 and alive till 173 and during this time he invented several things he was not only the cell biologist he was a good architect designer and still his many architect designs are existing so he was a poet he was a writer and he was definitely a good scientist this is the picture of robert robert hooks which is taken from wikipedia actually and this is his microscopy and he invented or he found a uh, small chamber like things in cork cells which he named cellula so this is the picture he saw under the microscopy first time and he called them cells later theodor schwann and martin mathis slide and proposed cell theory uh we called it koshika vad in hindi and this cell theory was proposed in 1838 and the cells was first discovered by robert hook as i say in 1605 and then first theory is is credited to the work of the theodor swan and mathis slidan in 1830 and the cell theory was actually came in light in 
1838. And according to cell theory, or according to Koshikavad, it's Hindi word Koshikavad, according to cell theory, all living organisms are composed of one or more cells. So at least one cells are required for life or for a living organism according to this theory. So I will discuss later organism, living organism are either unicellular or multicellular, but at least one cells are required for life or for living activities. And this is the one first part of the cell theory. The second, the cells is the basic unit of structure and organization in organism. So this is the basic or smallest unit which makes the structure. For example, when we are making house or we are, when we are making wall, we need a bricks and the bricks is a smallest unit of the, make the wall. And the, similarly here, the cells is the smallest unit many cells makes the body of course same type of collection of the same type of cells called the tissue i will discuss later okay so the cells is the basic unit of the structure it makes a structure like it makes a body of the several organisms and the organization organization means several cellular activities so when the body formed body needs several activities for survival. As I say, it needs respiration, it needs digestion, it needs reproduction, it needs many more activities to survive. And then these all organizational activities can be controlled by cells or can be individually done by cells. So cells are the basic unit of structure and organization. This is the second part of cell theory. And the third is cell come from a pre-existing cells. So third part, this is very important. Cell can reproduce the same cells. It means cells never originated from the non-living things. It's always comes from a cells which is existing. This is the third part. And this theory is very, very important. And then later, Antony von Leeuwenhoek first time actually saw the living cells under his microscopy. He was a great microscopist and he invented, he constructed several microscopies. The middle one is his own microscopy, which he used to see many kinds of cells. He is Anthony von Leeuwenhoek. Anthony von Leeuwenhoek, also known as father of microscopy, uh, sorry, microbiology or Sukshm Jeev Vigyan. And using his own build microscopies, he saw many, many important cellular organisms. He is best known for his work on the improvement of the microscope, as I say, and establishment of microbiology. And that's why he's also known as father of microbiology. Third image is his inventions. He saw many living organisms, for example, white blood cells or red blood cells, yeast cells, it's a fungus, uh, sperm, probably human sperm and bacteria. So he saw these living organisms live under the microscopy. Before Robert Hooke or other people, they saw cells, but those were not live cells. Anthony von Leeuwenhoek's work is very important, as I say, and he discovered a lot of important, many of the important things. If Nobel Prize was there in existing at that time, then he must be one of the Nobel Prize winner, but Nobel Prize came much later after his death. So anyway, discovery, he discovered things as a bacteria is one of his important discovery. And as we know, 
our body itself has more bacteria than the total number of cells inside the body. So bacteria exist everywhere. And in, nine, and in 1674, he discovered bacteria. He discovered bacules in plant cells. Many bacules or rictica in Hindi uh, are there. These are the big part where inside there is a liquid. He discovered bacules and then he discovered muscle fibers. It's 1672. He also saw the sperm under his microscopy in 1677. Here there are some important points about cells. Cells are the smallest unit of the body. I explained it earlier and cells was taken from the Latin word it's cellula which means a smaller chamber. So the it's one cell is like a smaller chamber of the body and many chambers make a whole body like many chambers in a house make the whole house. And cells are too small to be seen without magnification so we need microscopy to see cells actually cells are about uh, like 10 micron 200 micron in size or micrometer in size so we cannot see this with naked eyes and then we need microscopy and that's why Robert uh, Anthony von Leeuwenhoek succeeded to see cells because he invented my nice microscopy Number four, prokaryotic single-celled organism were the earliest and most primitive form of the life on earth. We considered prokaryotic as the earliest or early, most early life in the earth. They are, most of the prokaryotes are single cell organism and these are the oldest life in the earth. There are more bacteria, as I say, in the body than the human cells. In our body, we have a more number of bacteria. We have billions of cells in the body, but then we have more than more bacteria than the number of cells. So you can assume how many bacteria are existing around you. Everywhere, in the air, in the soil, in the water, in the, inside the body, everywhere bacteria are existing. Number six, group of similar cells form tissue. So we have a several organs, like we have a liver, we have a heart, we have a muscles, and each part or each organs have a many cells and the individual organism has cells, those works for different kind of activities or those deal different kind of work. And the collection of these individual type of cells known as tissues. So group of similar cells known as tissues which in turn group together and tissue again make turn together and then they make the organs such as the heart or brain or liver or other things. And then in the hi for history Robert Hooke first discovered cells as we ex I explained earlier in 1665 he saw a small compartment structure in cork cell and he named them kosha. He described this in his book Micrographia. 1674 Anthony von Leeuwenhoek first saw live cells under microscopy and 1831 Robert Brown discovered nucleus or nucleolus inside the cells. I will discuss about nucleus and nucleolus in next parts. And then botanist Theodore Schwann and geologist Matthew Slyden proposed a cell theory in 1838. So Theodore Schwann was botanist and Matthew Slyden was zoologist and then they both proposed cell theory. In 1855, Rudolf Virchow proposed that the cell always originated from division of existing cells. So one cell formed from the another existing cells, they never originated from 
other things like other non-living things so cell cannot be formed from suppose from soils or from the some like steels or something they can't they always made from cells and we can simply categorize animals in two parts as I say based on number of cells either unicellular it means they have only one cell so the whole body is made up of one cells and the examples are many bacteria and then multicellular organism so the body has many many cells for example human cells or our body we have many many cells thank you for more information and videos please visit the website or write email to the below email address or you can visit our blog or for more videos you can see you can watch on our YouTube channels or you can see continuous update on our Facebook page.